Hey there friends and welcome to another quick Kajabi tutorial. I am super excited about this one because today we are going to talk about the new coaching product inside Kajabi and I'm going to dive deep into the how to's and the specifics that you need to know on how to set it up in your Kajabi. So yesterday I introduced the Kajabi product to you so that you got a chance to get a, a look at it, kind of get a feel for what it looks like behind the scenes as well as as to your clients. And if you haven't had a chance to watch that video yet, be sure to check it out somewhere up here. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to actually set it up from the technical side of things so that you know what to expect, what to have ready, and 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 how to, to put everything together so that you can start getting your first Kajabi coaching clients through your system. I have to say that this is so much um, so much better than what I was doing before because prior to Kajabi launching the new coaching product, I was using all kinds of different third-party options, um, including things like running the invoicing through a third-party option, uh, particularly to make sure that we're getting the, the payments for multiple sessions and, and those kind of things to where it works the way it needed to. So it's really exciting the way that we can do this, a more streamlined through Kajabi now, as well as then not using things like Dropbox and Trello and all the things that I was using before. And as I talked about yesterday, the best part of it, in my opinion, is that we're constantly then encouraging our clients to go to our website, to log in to their library, to see what kind of resources are available, to have it all in one place for them as well as for us. And that way then we're increasing engagement. We're getting them back into our library where we can upsell them if you're using Encore. We can do all kinds of other things like get them back into other programs or remind them of programs they may have purchased in the past that they see in their library library or all kinds of things. Anything that we want to do strategically, it all starts with driving traffic to your website and getting them engaged. So I love how having coaching now inside the website is just supporting that overall theme. Okay, so let's jump on in now into actually setting up your first coaching product. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do when we log into our Kajabi is that you'll notice that once you have access to the new coaching product, it's going to show up under products in your menu library. So just like a couple months ago when they launched the new podcast, which is also absolutely exciting and awesome, when we go into your products, you'll now see a new tab that says coaching. And the first time that you click on coaching, you're probably gonna see a screen that looks something like this, uh, that's gonna prompt you to actually get started and to, to set it up. Now, the second time and after you set this up, you're going to see something more along the lines of this, where this is then is your, your dashboard, where it shows you any upcoming sessions, how many active clients, completed sessions. Um, this is basically your analytics for your coaching on your main coaching page. But the first time, we first have to set it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on get started and then we have the option of either doing a one-off session or we can set up packages. So if you are using this for just a single coaching session or a single call, or maybe you wanna use this for your discovery call because you're, you want them to be able to schedule it and you wanna be able to track it and you wanna be able to have the analytics that go along with that kind of thing. You can do that now and, and it's all done here in the one-off session. Now today I'm going to demonstrate the package because it's very similar to one-off other than there's a couple extra features because now we're talking about multiple sessions. So I'm gonna demonstrate that today, but just to be aware that there's one-off or package. And I do have to point this out too because it's very important and Kajabi puts it in here in, in their let lettering below. This is not HIPAA compliant. So just make sure that if you're doing anything along the lines of, of private health information, we do want to make sure that we're not doing that inside the Kajabi package because the way Kajabi is set up, it's just not, it's not HIPAA compliant. So just throwing that out there. All right, so let's jump into packages and click continue. And then what we're gonna do is we put in a title, the coach name, description, and choose our thumbnail. Any of these things we can come back and edit later, so it's not like you're stuck with any of these things when you first set it up. So I'm just gonna call this one test, 
and I'll put in my coach name and we'll just call this one test and we'll just choose a thumbnail. I'll just select a recent file and we'll call it this one. And this is just a recent picture rather than worry about creating a whole one, but at least then uh, we have something for you to see. Okay. Now, the very next thing that you're going to see is the new coaching program, how many sessions and your scheduling preference. This is the, the kind of the crucial part of the whole thing is the whole um, sessions and schedule preference. Uh, once you've set this part up, we cannot go back and edit this. So you would have to either delete the product and start over um, or you would um, just have to be happy with what you've done. <laughs> so what we can do is this is where we set up how many sessions. So let's say you're gonna do an annual coaching program and it's once a month, we would set it up as 12 sessions. Maybe it's two sessions, five, 10, whatever it is, how many sessions that you wanna do. And then we have our scheduling preference. Now, this is, like I said, the key. Once we set up our scheduling preference, Kajabi does not have it set to where we can edit that. And they do that specifically because it can be really confusing for uh, your clients and your members if we're shifting gears kind of mid through. Um, so they, they kind of have it set up where it's a specific Calendly link, which we can connect. Um, the first time that you click, you know, you'll sh show mine and you can see it says connected. The first time you do this, um, it may have you prompted to log into Calendly and get connected. If you don't have a Calendly account, then you can go ahead and set one up um, and then be able to, to set up your Calendly. Custom link is if you have something that's not Calendly and you just want to set up a link where they go to a different calendar. So we do have that as an option. And you also have the option for a manual booking. So if you don't wanna put in a link at all at this point, you can just mark it as manual and then you can do it however you may have been doing it in the past where you just email them a link later or something like that. Now, one of the things that I will point out though is that on custom link, we can set that custom link to be any URL link that you want it to be. So strategically, one option might be to set up a landing page inside your Kajabi that takes them to that page. Now that might be really worthwhile if you're in a situation maybe that you have multiple coaches and they need to select which calendar, or if you have um, maybe several different options or upsells that you want them to have access to. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios where we may want to use something like sending them to a landing page to, to schedule their appointment. Because um, keep in mind that if you use Calendly, it is going to be a calendar. So it's however you have that connected. Now, if I, if I select Calendly, it's going to pull up an event type and then I have a drop down. And one of the things you'll notice here is I've got two calendars that are showing up here. Now let me jump on over to my Calendly. Oops, let me go back here. And in my Calendly, you'll see I have several different calendars that are available, but there's only two that we're showing that are uh, available through Kajabi. And those are th these two. And you notice these two have a little eyeball with the line going through it. Well, it's because we need to make sure that the event is set up as secret in order for it to integrate with the Kajabi coaching. So I'm gonna walk you through that real quickly. In order to do that, you wanna first set up your session and then under our settings, um, we'll go up to the little gear icon and edit. Under the second tab where it says, when can people book this event? We're gonna click on that and we're gonna scroll all the way down to where we see additional rules for your availability. And then we'll scroll down till we see make this a secret event and you're gonna check this box. It must have that box checked in order for Calendly to see it, or uh, Kajabi to see this Calendly event, okay? So if you have other events that you have um, maybe in emails that you've been using them or you've been embedding them on your website or you've been uh, connecting them in other places, what you may want to do is set up a separate Calendly event. So one of the things you'll notice here is that I have a 30 minute uh, coaching call, but I also have a 30 minute call here. So these two are identical, except that one of them is public facing and one of them is connected to Kajabi. 
So just keep that in mind. You may need to just set up multiple events just to make sure depending on what you've previously set up. Now, if you are not using Calendly in a forward facing kind of thing, you're only just setting it up through Kajabi, then you're fine. So we can just go ahead and, and create your event, go to your settings, click the edit, when can people book it, scroll down to the additional rules and then go down here and mark this as a secret event. Okay, so once we've done that, then we it'll show up here and then we can select that as um, as the the connected link that will show up when someone clicks on the schedule now tab that's inside their coaching program. Okay, all right, so then we click finish. And there it is, it's gonna show up on our dashboard and then we can go back into our main dashboard and now you'll be able to see this, this dashboard that shows upcoming, past and pending. It'll show active clients completed sessions. We have our programs, we have clients and we have our settings. So if we go to settings, this is then where we can um, check our Calendly schedule or integrate with Calendly if need be. Um, we can go back into programmings and now we can create another one if we want to, um, all of those things. Now, if we go into this particular product, this is now where it's been set up is where we can edit the details. So say I want to change the name, I wanna change the description, I wanna replace this. Um, it shows here we're connected to Calendly and the, here is the, the, connect, the calendar link. These are not changed. Uh, changeable. Um, you can request a scheduling update by contacting Build at Kajabi. So you're not 100% stuck, but it, we just can't do it on the back end or uh, ourselves. And then this is also where we can go in and set up primary color and accent color. So you do have options here to be able to change those. One thing that is kind of interesting is that um, the accent color is your hero section background and the primary color are buttons and icons. So it's kind of backwards to what I originally thought it was. So when I originally set this up, I actually set it up backwards to what I wanted. So I had to go back in here and change that. So just keep in mind that the hero section, that big stripe that goes across the top of the page, that's what the accent color is. And your primary color is gonna be the buttons and the highlights and, and, and those things. Now this is another thing that's super, super cool, which is where we have the option to show an upsell button after they've completed the session. So let's just say that this is a single session and maybe you're using the single session for your discovery call. And then we wanna take them to an upsell at the end of their discovery call. Well, then we go in here and we can select our offer and select our button text. Um, so that is, is a really cool feature that is kind of hidden down here in the settings at the bottom. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. So if they finished their session, um, if you want to have some other upsell. So it depends on how you have your program set up or what logically makes sense for you and your clients, but that is also another option. The other thing we can do is go into package outline. So this is where then we have our 12 sessions that we set up. We can go in here and we can change this to where we change our title. And we can actually go in here and add agenda items and resources that is across the board for all of our clients. So if you are following pretty much the same thing each time that in session one, you always talk about this, this, and this, or in session two, we're gonna talk about this, this, and this, then setting it up by session is a really great way that it saves you time so you don't have to do it under each individual one. Now, the great thing is we do have the option of doing the exact same thing individually. So let's say that you, like for my clients, each session is gonna be somewhat different. I'm not teaching the exact same thing every time because it's based on what the clients need and what they wanna focus on for their Kajabi business. So agenda items and resources for me are going to be more client specific, but for some people it's more course specific. It's like coaching specific. So if it's coaching specific to you, then you could add your agenda items here and your resources if you want to, or you can go back in and you can add them on the client level. And that, in a nutshell, is all it takes to setting up your client now, or your, your coaching products. One last thing to cover is that we do then need to connect them with offers. So just like any other product, you'll want to set up the, the product where they can purchase them 
and then be either purchasing or grant access. So you do have to connect with an offer. So if you click on the offer tab, it's going to prompt you to create a new offer. If you want to add this to an offer you've already created, you would simply go to your sales tab, pull up your offers and then find that offer and then add product just like you always have in the past. Um, or you could just go ahead and create a new offer and start all over and, and make sure you edit your checkout and all of those fun things that we do um, from that perspective on, on offers and checkouts. There's I do have other training videos where we talk about offers and checkouts, so if you need additional insights on that, um, be sure to check out other videos on my channel. And if you are new to Kajabi and you're just thinking about trying it or you don't have Kajabi yet and you're thinking about trying it for the first time, now is a great time to get in because we've got podcasts, we've got coaching, we've got products, we have newsletters are coming in the next month or two where we can have paid newsletters. There's all kinds of really great new things that Kajabi has coming out to let it truly be an amazing all-in-one platform to help you grow your online business, regardless of what it is that you're trying to do. So if that is in interest to you, be sure to check out the description that goes with this video where I have a link where there's extra bonuses if you enroll in Kajabi with my partner link. But there's also some extra bonuses that Kajabi is offering with the coaching program until November 7th. So be sure to check that out. And then I do have other videos we'll be talking about. So yesterday we talked about the introduction to coaching. Today we talked about how to set it up. I'm also going to share with you a little more insights about some different ways to use this, some strategizing ideas, as well as the difference between one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching and how best to set those up in Kajabi. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And then leave in the comment section below your thoughts about this new coaching product. I can't wait to hear what you have to say because I am so excited. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video and enjoy all of the amazing things that Kajabi offers. Take care.